What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. In this video, I'm going to share a little technique on how you can better composite your CG elements into your live action shot that might have some mist or other atmospherics or smoke elements within it. This technique is super simple and once you understand it, you can apply it to other visual effects shots you have as well. And it involves extracting certain parts of your live action footage and then re-overlaying them with a different blend mode on top of the CG element that you want to integrate into your scene. So this is the shot we're going to be going through today. And this is not really a tutorial, but more of a conceptual breakdown of the shot and the technique that I used. But you can see that in this specific shot, if we just isolate it by ourselves here, You'll notice that the original shot has this uh, smoky area in the middle of our scene here. And oftentimes having smoke in your live action shot can make it a little bit more difficult to composite some CG elements on top of it because you have to get the CG element to integrate with this smoke data that's in your original shot. So in this specific shot, we have these dragonflies that we've exported from Blender using our Spiderfy add-on. And you can see that this is actually not too bad right off the bat if we just slap the dragon and fly past right on top of our smoke. But what I would like to do is just better integrate them so that they're kind of flying into the hazy part of our shot here. So off into the left of the frame, they're uh, out of the smoke. And then when they go to the center of our frame here, they're a little bit more kind of hidden and their shadows are lifted by all of the smoke that's here. So one way we could do this is just overlay a smoke element on top of our dragonflies by themselves here in a pre-comp and just kind of try to match the smoke element that we add to the dragonflies to the smoke in the live action shot. But another way we can do this is we can try to isolate the parts of our footage that contain the smoke and then re-overlay that on top of our dragonfly. So that's what I've done here. And you can see that if I go to our highlight smoke overlay layer here and I add that to our scene, if I just zoom in, you'll notice that when I enable it, it's actually overlaying a bit of atmosphere on our dragonflies. And all I'm actually doing here, if I go to this specific layer and isolate it, is extracting the highlights from our live action shot and then giving them a little bit of blur. So if I just take these two effects off, as well as our mask, this layer that we're overlaying on top of our dragonflies is just a copy of our live action footage. Then we're using the extract effect to extract the highlights and feather them a bit so that only this part of our footage is being extracted and then any black portions here will be an alpha channel. And then I've also added a little blur effect to just kind of take away some of the harsh edges from our extraction. And at this point, I then used a mask to isolate our elements further and just did a very basic feathered mask at the center portion of our scene where the smoke is and just feathered it a little bit. And then at this point, if we show it on top of our footage, you'll see it working pretty nicely. You'll see that it's definitely blending in our dragonflies a little bit nicer, but also the final touch I did was just use a different blend mode. I used the lighten blend mode to just bring out the highlights of our shot a little bit better so that the dragonflies weren't quite as covered up by the smoke. It's a delicate balance. You have to kind of play with how much you want to overlay an element in the scene. And you can't always use this effect, but oftentimes by extracting different elements from the live action shot and re-overlaying them on top of the CG elements that you have rendered, you can make that CG element a little bit more nicely integrated into the scene. So at this point, I could, of course, play around with the opacity of this layer a bit in case it was a little bit too much. I think I had it at around 70 for our shot. So you definitely don't have to overlay something like this very heavily, but this is just one way you can integrate your CG into your live action a bit better without drastically increasing the complexity of your visual effects shot. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. I hope this quick tip was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. The full video of our dynamic motion capture grass creature is coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're interested in more visual effects content, and I'll see you next time.